the sun is shining brightly. It's almost March and sadly still no sign of a new update coming to Blocks Fruit. So today, guys, we are back for testing out a brand new fruit. And as well, giving you guys, of course, all the codes that exist inside the game. Wow. We as well do some cool giveaways. So let's just get into it. So if we open up the shop and check out more fruits, of course, there's a bunch of fruits to get. But we have all the newest ones. We have the Kitsuda fruit, the Leopard fruit, the Dragon fruit, all the kind of stuff, guys. And there has been some fan favorites. So today's plan is simple. We're going to take a luxury boat. We're going to go and get ourselves a Sentinel of $1,000. We're going to go on top of the ship and we're going to the city and get ourselves a brand new fruit. Before we proceed, I'm wondering what y'all can make within three weeks. Have you ever heard of someone called Clucky King? If you've never, well, let me tell you about him. He's a master player of Honkai Star Rail and Roblox, and he did something amazing within three weeks. Created Star Rail Simulator, the Roblox version of Honkai Star Rail. Don't you think this is totally incredible? Let me show you what it looks like. Star Rail Simulator is a casual RPG released on Roblox, allowing players to freely explore the enchanting world of Pinakuni. By defeating monsters together, players can earn in-game currency to unlock more items and enchants and enhance their abilities. There are five playable characters, Pom Pom, March 7, Sparkle, Blade and Black Swan. Each character possesses their own dazzling ultimate skill. Players can strike to their characters by promoting them and enchanting their powers. Every 10 minutes, the server boss event will be launched, allowing players to challenge the boss in a designated area with other players. Each boss challenge lasts 5 minutes. After the challenge ends, players' damage dealt ranking will be displayed. Achieving certain damage dealt daily gives you stellar jades. Join in with friends, tackle the boss and secure those stellar jades. Apart from basic gameplay, players can also experience the fun obstacle races in the game, where players control their characters to jump and move to various obstacles. It might sound simple, but it tests your skills and reflexes, race to the top of the leaderboards at lightning speed. The Stellar Jades of Special Currency can be used to unlock characters, promote and enchant their abilities, and even unlock vehicle mounts. What are you waiting for? Simply click the link in the description to download Star Wheel Simulator now and become the legend in the world of Panakini. I'll uh, take you in on a little secret though, uh, I, I kind of already decided what kind of fruit I want and I kind of already bought it and I kind of already trained it a little bit and the reason for that is because I already recorded this video before and that freaking thing didn't record, I am so sad guys, it literally is the worst part of being a YouTuber and doing YouTube videos is when you press record and you're sure you press record because the button is the exact same for the face cam and the gameplay and then the gameplay didn't record somehow and you lose it. So today guys, we are uh, doing it again. Uh, so uh, to keep you guys a little bit on an on update, I put myself uh, some fruits on the wheel and I spun the wheel just like this. And you can see, uh, it, it, it spawned Mammoth. Uh, on the list was uh, Portal, Mammoth, Phoenix, and as well Sound. And I wanted mainly to try Portal and Mammoth, so I put this on a little bit more. I spawned and I got Mammoth. Let's see if, if we get something else this time. Maybe we get Mammoth again. Is it Faith? Is it Faith? We have to pick Mammoth. Oh, and it is Faith. See, we got Mammoth again. So, like, that, that that's what we would have done and would have gotten, you yeah. know. So we spawned that fruit, we went over here to the Luxfruits dealer and interacted with him and then we, you know, went over here and continued on and then we looked at, okay, you know, what kind of fruits are here? And the fruit that was there, of course, that we wanted to grab up was the Mammoth fruit. Uh, this one was like two and a half thousand Robux and we bought it and we got it. So, yeah, um, so we're gonna go ahead and equip it right here and we're gonna take a look at this bad boy. Like I said, I trained it a little bit already, but not, I was not fully done, but I just noticed like, oh my god, my thing is actually not rolling and it was just so sad, guys, I'm so sad. But, guys, today we are testing out the mammoth fruit. This thing is an absolute beast of a fruit, guys. Uh, you, you get it? You get it? Beast of a fruit? It is the mammoth fruit, but it's not the only thing we're doing today, guys. We are doing, of course, a little bit of leveling. We're checking out the mammoth fruit, but we are as well giving you guys a full update codes list of the game, so that's gonna be awesome. And as well, I plan to do a giveaway on three of my favorite fruits. So we have the Kitsune fruit, my favorite so far is it gonna change we have ourselves of course a mammoth fruit to give away because that's what we're using today and the fan favorite that everyone always keeps asking about is gonna be a buddha fruit as well given away 
And I got a question for everyone right now in the comment section down below. For my next video, I do want to try, of course, a different fruit. Is there, if there's not a new one, I want to try either Love, Spider, Sound, or Phoenix, or Portal. Let me know which one of those five fruits I should try the next time right now down below. But today is all the theme of the Mammoth Fruit, so let's go ahead and give this a go. So this thing is pretty crazy. Look at this first ability. It destroys the trees. It's kind of it's kind of cool, guys. It becomes like a big mammoth. And as well, you can charge with the level 51. Boom! It's so loud, though. And this thing makes enemies fly across the map. It is pretty cool. Look at that, guys. Look at that. I don't think it actually can destroy the buildings. But let's see. No, so that doesn't destroy buildings. I know some uh, abilities can actually pick up the buildings and stuff. So, no, I cannot destroy the buildings, but it can destroy the trees, which is pretty cool. So, the damage of this fruit is pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's OP, but the biggest downside, in my opinion, of this fruit, which is not on the Kitsune fruit, for example, is it doesn't have a left click. I'm clicking right now. It's not doing anything. I would have loved if there was something like that. They did this with the Kitsune fruit, guys. Look at this. Look at this. So, this is, of course, with the last fruit. This is my favorite fruit so far, and this is why I love this fruit. It has the abilities, right? It has, like, all the abilities you want to use. It's pretty cool, right? Like, boom. But as well, it has the left click, which is so good. It is so strong. And sadly, Mammoth does not have that. So that's a little bit sad. But maybe it can make up for it if we unlock the Colossal Crusher. And that's my goal right now. We're going to quickly take on the boss right here with the Ancient Cutter and as well the Prehistoric Punt. But we have to make sure that we are careful that this guy does not get stuck in walls like this. Because the fact before that I literally used my abilities and this guy just went flying on the map and never returned. Oh my god, it happened again! Where did he go? Where is the boss? <laughs> Oh, he's there! <laughs> I literally just flying him out of the map. I never even should be dead. Oh my god. This fruit is so chaotic. It just throws the boss anywhere. It is crazy. Hey, we need one more NPC defeated and then we are done. But actually, after using this fruit for a while, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. So, like, if I aggro, like, with this bazooka right here, get myself that, and then we do, like, the ancient cutter, like, the AOEs are so big, and the grouping ability as well of, like, the prehistoric punt, that it makes, like, doing this super efficiently, because, like, you can't really miss these abilities, and that's why they're so good. I actually like this a lot more than I thought it would like it, so, you know... It's not bad. And now we've unlocked a Colossal Crusher at level 100. And it does this. Okay. So we start up with a basic boy. Ooh, I wonder if we use Prehistoric Punt before Crusher. Alright, let's go to the go. So let's go get this aggroed. Get this aggroed. And then we'll get this aggroed as well. Boom, there we go. And then we'll start off with the punt then we will do the crush okay i'm dead i maybe should have done it differently uh take two i take two let's start with the colossal crusher instead boom then they go in the air ancient cutter and then punt okay so it's czx that's probably the best way to do it so let, let's give it a go on this guy right here solo gonna be ulted with that so boom Crushed, sliced, and then diced. Ball, let's go. That's pretty cool. I'll, yeah, I'll take it. Definitely good. All right, so my final verdict for this fruit, I think I would give it a solid seven. It doesn't compare to Kitsune. Like, I'll be honest. Like, this is like a solid nine, nine and a half fruit. This is like a seven. It could be better, of course, with transformation or with stampede, but for now, it's pretty decent. Uh, but a 7, I think, is pretty fair. So, like I said, I do want to give away the Kitsune Fruit. I do want to give away, as well, the Mammoth Fruit, so you can test it yourself, and, as well, one Buddha Fruit. So, if you guys want to get yourselves these three fruits, what you have to do to get a like this video, subscribe if you're new, comment down below your fruit you want to get of the three, and that should be everything you have to do. The last thing I want to do is give you guys a code. So, I did already check all of them to make sure if they're still working, and I took out all the ones that aren't working. So, to give you guys a full list, it's actually super simple. Here is 
the image. I compiled them all for y'all. So we have Reward Front, we have Chandler, Neutral, Kit Reset, Sub to Captain Maui, Devs Cooking, Kit Gaming, Sub to Fur99, AUS Pro, Magic Buzz, JCWK, Starcode, Heal, Bloxy, Foot, and Underscore V2. We have Sub to Gamer, Robot, Underscore XP1, Sub to New Master 1 to 3, Sub to Up uh, Uncle Kizaru, Sub to Die Grog, X0, Tante Gaming, Straw Hat Main, Sub to Vision Newbie, Foot, and Big News, and the Great A's. Those are all the codes that are working inside the game. Of course, as well, I know if you guys want to, you can use code DEFILE to buy some Robux in the store. That would be appreciated. Then you, of course, as well, help me out in the game with some free Robux, which is pretty cool. Because that's what we get uh, if we uh, if your code gets used. And yeah, that's actually not too bad. I'll take it. So uh, yeah, next time we will try a different fruit. Maybe, of course, a new fruit is released. But like I said, there's no information on any of the updates nothing on the twitter nothing anywhere like i've not seen anything of course if there is something new i should check out let me know uh but yeah of course comment down below should we next up try the love fruit the spider fruit sound fruit the phoenix fruit or the portal fruit because those are the ones that i want to try out next let me know in the comment section down below so yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up for today so hit the like button down below and subscribe if you don't see us later today or tomorrow for another video see you guys take care i love my thanks so much for watching and of course as well take care guys